uh, finish our last section of chapter 11. It's called uh, Binomial Theorem. Some of you might see it in a statistic, but if you never see this before, it's okay too. So the binomial, binomial theorem, this is the formula. All right, so basically you have to have two terms, right? The first term, you call it A, the second term is B, and raised to the nth power, n is the integer. So you're gonna expand in this form. So uh, let's look at our example. I have m plus 2n quantity raised to the fifth. So my first term is m, my second term is 2n, and my n here is 5. So you just follow the formula. So it's, the first one is going to be, um, this is called binomial coefficient n choose r. Um, you can use the calculator, the function is c n r uh, or c n capital C and R and the formula is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. We're gonna go to the detail when we do the practice. All right. So um, my n here is five, so it's gonna be five choose zero, and then five choose one, five choose two, five choose three. 5 choose 4, 5 choose 5, just like the formula n choose 0, n choose 1, all the way to n choose n. Now the first term here is a, you see a to the n, a to the n minus 1, all the way to a to the 0. So we're going to start, my first term is m. So it's going to be m, my n is 5, so going to be m to the 5th, m to the 4th, m to the 3rd, m to the 2nd, m to the first and m to the zero. Now look at the formula. The second term start from b to the zero, b to the first, all the way to b to the n. My second term is 2n, so 2n to the zero, 2n to the first, 2n to the second, to the third, to the fourth, and to the fifth. All right, just follow the, uh, the definition of the binomial theorem. Now um, <clears throat> we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six term. Yes, yeah, six term. So it's gonna take a long time to calculate all of this. So let's say if I choose to do the fourth term, this is the fourth term here, all right? So um, the easiest way would be using the formula. So you can do um, C, your n here is 5, choose 3, all right? Just plug in the, for, the calculator. So you're going to punch in number 5, and then uh, C, N, R. You might need to shift it, and then number 3. And then you should get 10 for the answer. All right, that's one way, probably the easiest way. However, not everybody have uh, those function in your calculator, and that's okay too. So I'm gonna follow, follow the formula here. This is the formula right here. All right, so let's do that one. So is n is your five and r is your three. So I'm just gonna put 5 choose 3, right? You can follow the formula here. Your n is 5, so it's going to be 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial, all right? I'm just using this formula here. 5 factorial, 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Uh, Factorial mean the number start from this number. Five factorial would be five times four times three times two times one. Right? That's what five factorial mean. Now this five minus three will be two factorial. Two factorial mean two times one. Now I have three factorial, so three factorial mean three times two time one. All right? You can multiply it out if you have basic calculator and then just reduce three times two times one, cancel out. So that is 20, 20 divided by two, which is 10. 
same answer right that's the second method now however some of you have uh, n factorial in your calculator right n factorial in your calculator you can do that too so let's say This is another method, all right? You can have five factorial, uh, five minus three, which is two factorial, and then three factorial, right? So you just use your calculator, punch in five factorial, divide by two factorial, times three factorial, and your answer should be 10. That's one way of doing that, all right? Uh, another way, all right, let me show you another way. Um, you can think of it this way. I see the three factorial here, I wanna reduce it. So I'm gonna rewrite five factorial as five times four times three factorial. And the reason I stop at three factorial here because I wanna reduce with the denominator, which is two, two factorial, just two times one, times three factorial then I can reduce the 3 factorial and the 3 factorial. And the answer is still 10. All right, however you feel comfortable. So, so this is binomial coefficient is equal to 10. So this is 10. This whole thing is 10. All right, 10 times 8 is 80, m to the second and n to the third. All right, so this is just the fourth term. You have to do every single term. So I get m to the fifth plus 10 m to the fourth times n plus 40 m to the cube n squared, and it's the third, fourth term, I just did it, and so on. Now, uh, let's see if they asked you just to find the fourth term, fourth term only, all right? So, so this is the first term, second term, third term, and the fourth term. Let's say you only want the fourth term. You don't want the whole thing of this binomial, the same one, right? So the formula is uh, n choose r, a to the n minus r, b to the r. So my a is the first term, my b is the second term. I have to figure out what is my r. So they want the fourth term. Right, they want the fourth term. So r plus one is equal to four because they want the fourth term, which imply my r is equal to three, right? So my n is five. So five choose three. My first term, which is m, five minus three. My second term is two n. My r is three. I'm using the same binomial here. And we just calculate this five choose three is 10, all right? Two n to the third is eight n to the cube. And if you multiply it out, is 80 m square n to the cube. This is the fourth term, all right? Let's look at um, Pascal triangle. Hi, let's look at our Pascal triangle. I'm gonna use the same example that we use in binomial theorem m plus 2n to the fifth, and we expand it, and that's what we get. And I'm going to use Pascal triangle and show to you that it should end up with the same answer. So Pascal triangle, you will always start with number one, right, on the top. And then you build your triangle. We're just going to concentrate on the coefficient first. So the outside is always going to be one. The outside is always going to be 1. So you start from 1, build your triangle, 1 and 1. I'll explain the variable later. And then 1 plus 1, you get 2 here. The outside is always 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. The outside is always 1. Uh, let's continue. 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4, outside is 1. Um, the next one, 1 plus 4 is 5, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 1 plus 4 is 5, and the outside is always 1. All right, I'm going to stop here because the first one is a plus 1 to the 0. 
the second one is a plus I'm sorry a plus b to the first a plus b to the second and also all the way to a plus b to the fifth we only need to go to the fifth power so I'm gonna stop here now this is how you get the coefficient now the variable you're gonna have the first variable and the second the first term and the second term let's look at our last one so you're gonna start the first term from the highest power a to the fifth a to the fourth a to the third a to the second a to the first and a to the zero which is one and the second variable which is b you're going to start from b to the zero which is one b to the first b to the second b to the third b to the fourth and b to the fifth all right so it should make, make sense to you let's let's try to look at this the first one is one if you think of anything raised to the zero power you should get one now if you have a plus b to the first you should get a plus b actually you get a plus b here a to the first b to the zero is one uh, plus a to the zero is one and then b so you're gonna get this a plus b quantity to the second you're gonna have the first term square plus twice first time second plus second square okay so so we are just gonna look at to the fifth power all right so my original uh, binomial is not a and b my first term is m my second term is 2n so I'm gonna use this one I'm sorry this one all right the first coefficient is 1 instead of a I'm gonna put m so m to the fifth plus between them you're gonna put plus 5 instead of a I have m to the fourth instead of b I have 2n and so on all right let's look at this one i have five instead of a i have m instead of b i have two n to the fourth and then you need to simplify this so the first one is just m to the fifth the second one if you multiply five times two is ten m to the fourth n let's look at one more two square is four four times ten is forty m to the fourth n square and you continue for the rest as you can see it's the same answer all right so we finished pascal triangle we finished everything have a nice summer